everybody, BrickLover18 here today on February 1st with another LEGO City update. I know I normally wait till the 18th of every month to do LEGO City updates, but because the City update is ready, I decided to do one today on the LEGO City update day. Here's just a brief overview of my city. It has changed a lot since the December update. Didn't do one in January. And now we're going to take a look closer in to see all the changing details. Starting off with the main section of street here with my five biggest buildings, three mocks and then the two sets, the palace cinema on this side, the first skyscraper, the black one, the Lego store skyscraper, the white skyscraper, and then the Grand Emporium. The Grand Emporium and the palace cinema haven't changed, but the th three buildings in the middle have all changed pretty I would say pretty dramatically since the last update. Some of you may notice instantly and say, wow, I really like the changes, and others of you may not have noticed. Starting with the white building here, the white building has gotten all new stores in it. Well, not all new, but they've all changed locations except for the one, the gun shop, but I've taken the sign down because I've actually rearranged the way the windows go. So before it was three windows, it was three windows on top, four windows on the bottom, three windows on top, four windows on the bottom. But now I've just made it four all the way across and it looks, I think, so much better than it used to. It used to have clashing colors with uh, tan, blue, tan, blue, white, and whatever color the floor was. Now the entire building front is just white. Uh, there is clashing colors still on the sides and on the back just because I didn't have the pieces to fix it all the way But I just wanted to make it look right for the city on the very bottom here We have the new booster juice mock which was actually in another part of the city But I've converted the bottom floor to the booster juice That's still the gun shop there with all the guns missing because I'm gonna put them back, but they're all missing for now Here's the dollar store and finally, the very top floor is the new Apple Store. The Apple Store has actually moved from the black size skyscraper. And each building in it has people in it as well as product and shopping. This is one guy searching for his cell phone with the Apple employee at the back. Here in the dollar store, we actually have two people, sh three people shopping plus the cash register. The gun shop is empty because there's no guns in it. And the booster juice, we have a customer going in and as well as a booster juice employee in the back. And I, unlike I normally do, I've staged the whole city for this update. The Lego store has not changed very much. It's got some shoppers coming out, some employees inside. The sign is still the same. The main change is up here, actually. It's just, I add, it's taking out the other colors, like yellow up here, I just made the whole building black. The window's been pushed inward some more. There are some changes structurally to the building, such as the roof is also different but not very many noticeable changes on the outside. Here in the black skyscraper, it's all changed as well. Brenda's dentistry has moved to the very top floor. I created a radio station, which is actually very detailed, and I spent a long time on this mock yesterday just trying to get it all right, and I'm very happy with it. I will show that in another video, like a radio station floor. That's what this is on this side is where the announcer is going to talk to give you the radio. You can see with her with her headphones on, and on this side is the control center. The bot, the second floor here is the pet shop, and finally the bottom floor remains the Tim Hortons. Moving on over to the side here, we actually have the park still. The park isn't just is just great. I think you walk in here, the park. We have some vendors, a magic trick, some spots to eat, a little girl riding a tricycle. We have Jeffrey the Giraffe, we just have some trees, it's a fun part, and oh, oh no, the LEGO City Police Team and SWAT Team is here arresting some crooks at the museum. There's the museum, we actually have a helicopter, we saw a pilot, we, they're all being guarded, and they've got guns trained, that's pretty dangerous for a park, but you can guess that they're stealing stuff. We have the police dog waiting to bark, and it looks like the robbers took out a section of the fence to drive up their vehicle, hoping they wouldn't get noticed. Guess they should have tried to plan this robbery at night. I've converted the whole street here to a one-way street. I had talked about it, but I had never actually done it until now. The reason I did that is because I could technically, if I wanted to, attempt to get two vehicles on this side, but you actually can't do it here. And the reason you can't do it here is because I've added all these base plates in, just making it so you can't drive two vehicles in it. 
the shopping center is another completely different and you're probably wondering what's this going all the way through. We'll talk about that in a minute. The shopping center has changed a lot. The train runs through the shopping center now instead of over to another table because the other table's been moved. The shopping center basically here, I'm just going to show you. At the very back here we have the brick -a hut pizza store from Eclipse Graphic, my pizza store set that I converted. We have the Lego City Bank. We have this really awesome fountain that I made. This is Scott, you know, a frog looking in and all the water flowing down. The bike shop and cafe uh, Lego set, the Lego Creator set. I did a review on that on my channel recently if you want to check it out. And of course, the uh, garden center, which one of the plants has tipped over, but I can't fix it now or I'd shake the video footage up. And then we just have some shoppers in the park just shopping. We, have, we still have the girls' clothing store, the Friends dolls, and of course the Dairy Queen, which is I've actually designed to be on a slant now for the train. You may notice why is the train running through the LEGO City, and that is because I have actually created a train station behind here. So there is actually a train station behind the shopping center. All you have to do is walk between the cafe to get to the back, there's, and there's the platform with the store and everything. Here's just a quick overview of the police of the plaza, as well as we still have some planes flying above it. We have this log cabin here on the water, along with the marina, with some boats driving around, just because it is an ocean area. And then up here we have just a park area, continuing on from the shopping center, walking across the track. We have a park area with some people sitting there, a fire, a fighter on his break. With lots of flowers and a waterfall actually that goes into the ocean and onto the beach. Here's what a brief overview of the whole beach looks like. And it's kind of small, but I really like it. And I've just, I've added a lot of detail to the ocean area. Now I can't keep your attention on it much longer. I've got to get your attention on it. We have the elevated train track. The elevated train track does run throughout a lot of the city, the back part of the city area, to the park and to the fire station. As you may have noticed in some spots here, such as in the park, or not the park, in the shopping center, as well as in the park, it is very nice, all black with the nice, the black support. But you may also have noticed that back here, it is not all nice. And it is actually not all nice behind all the buildings. This is because I ran out of supports as well as black 2x4, 2x2 bricks. I took them all out of my Brickling store, took them all out of my collection that I found. I just, I'm still short, but don't worry, I'm going to change the colors out. These are just random bricks just being used to support it as of right now. And you can only tell if you really look at that one spot, look over here and behind all these buildings that I have those support bricks, but whatever. At the very end of the city here, we still have the NCIS Lego building. We have the two vehicles here on their driveway with the whole... I forgot to mention, this is the new passenger train that I got for Christmas. It is on the elevated track here, and the old train that I had, the red one, is still on the track. The red one, I find, just goes around the corners better on the elevated track, and it was all the track here, besides the elevated track, was designed for this train, so I just think it works more. And I just like this one. It looks cool up there. I would show you them both running, but unfortunately both sets are out of batteries because when I was testing out all the tracks, I left them on. Didn't realize it because I didn't actually try and run the trains for a while and then realize afterwards. But by that time, it was way too late to do the update. The corner gas mock is still back here. I have the bus station, a little bus station which I just made. Some cars leaving the city. Same with over here. These two spots are the only spots where there are two lanes of traffic. The rest is all one way. I'm just going to get, I'm giving you a bird's eye view of the Lego City. I've worked very hard on it the past couple days to bring you this update and I am very happy with all the progress. So let me know down in the comments below if you have any suggestions for my city, any recommendations of things I could do differently, things I could do better, or things that I could do the same. I really appreciate it. One thing I was really working on in this video was to keep the camera fairly steady because I just don't want it to be a shaky video and have nobody want to watch it. Um, Try very hard. I know it's going to be like impossible to have no shake whatsoever. But I did my best, so please let me know down in the comments below what you thought. 
let me know what you think of the Lego City and basically everything you want to know. Comment below, like this video, share this video with your friends, and of course, subscribe to see more LEGO City updates. Also, let me know if you want to keep the LEGO City updates on the 1st of the month or the 18th of the month. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you like the LEGO City. I worked quite hard on it this month, and I am very happy with my progress. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.